Okay, this read is for sorry, this read is for Kathy. Um, I got your email or your message, and I saw what you post online. And in all that, you didn't ask a specific question, but I kind of gathered from what you you've written. Um, it'd probably be best to do a, a spread, a love spread for you. Um, as far as your past is concerned, it looks. You know, I, I get the sense of false starts. You know, that's definitely there. Um, and it's been in the context that there was a lot of energy. You know, that, that the, in the past, it's like you get all excited about something that's going to happen. It's going to, it's it's hopeful. Uh, and and it, it starts off with that energy, and then it just, some some point, something goes wrong. And it's like, wow, why, why couldn't it have always have been like it was in the beginning? And that's kind of the sense that I get. Uh, but presently, your situation is that you are uh, in a learning phase. And this is good. Um, because apparently, whatever's not been working for you, you're going to have to analyze. You might get some help with this. You might, you know, be in a position um, where you will... Uh, you have a, a, a you know a teacher in this somehow and when we look at what you want it's very clear that you want what you haven't had <laughs> or and this is the unique thing and the, going by the card that came up and some of the things that I've studied in the past sometimes you can be in a position where you you know what you don't want but you don't know what you do want, but you know you want it better than what you've had. And that's an odd kind of place to be. Um, at least that's that's what I'm getting from the cards that have come up so far. And I think I can shine a little more light on that uh, moving forward. Uh, but it's as if, you know, you don't even know what you're missing. You've, there's been um, just the wrong kinds of relationships. Now, when we look at what uh, you need as far as uh, in a relationship, you're kind of at this point. I'm not. This isn't about your past relationships. This is about where you're at now. You are in a situation where you're worrying about it is part of the problem. Uh, whether it's it's twofold. It's from the context of you might not have faith in yourself or you might not have the, uh, you know, it's sort of a self-sabotaging mentality because you have this, this worrisome view. And it's also not attractive. I mean, you know, you're a very pretty lady, but um, I've seen women who are very mediocre just light up a room with their confidence and their attitude. And that is really, you know, and, you know, I don't think I'm just speaking as a man, but just as, as what I think that a lot of people who, who understand these things about how you project, that's 90% of the battle. Uh, and if you have these doubts, that's, you know, that's affecting how you project and how people see you. And it can be subtle, you know, and... This is, and it's hard work, and, and you know, I'm the, trust me, <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos or talked to anyone else who's known me from here or anywhere else, um, I'm the last person to want to blow sunshine up somebody's rear end and tell them it's all going to be okay or just to put on a smile or, you know, I, I do believe in the, this concept of fake it till you make it, that you can convince yourself to be more confident if you work at it, but it's got to come from a place that's real. And so there's you know that's part of the work you have to do so I guess what I'm trying to say is you're going to want to to not have those false worries not play that tape in your head about how things are wrong but don't think it's just going to be as simple as you know putting a smile on and the next day things are going to go fine it, there's some work for you in this um, 
and it's the kind of work that is is going to have to be about building that confidence and how you can create this in your life. Uh, and like I say, I've, I'm, I'm trying to refrain from holding, you know, from showing every card. Uh, but in the place of what you have to offer in a relationship, and I think this is what ties it all together, at least as I'm looking at the, at the read and the spread. Um, it's the Nine of Pentacles. So you got it going on, and I'm beginning to think that part of the problem might be, uh, you know, other than this this confidence thing, and other than you, these ba this bad history, maybe you're selling yourself short. Maybe you're having a hard time to finding someone who's at your level, someone who who is going to match up. And you know, it it, it feels to me. Like, you're in a situation where you might be sort of selling out, you know, maybe uh, getting with the wrong men for the reason of not wanting to be lonely or wanting to be in a relationship more than being with the right person. And as far as the outcome, and keep in mind an outcome for, for a read like this is, is not long term. An outcome for you like this could be, you know, months, one month, um, depending. Uh, I'm not real secure with uh, with time frames. You know, could be three months. You know, and that's the one. And every time I say I'm not secure with putting time out there, I uh, time frame always comes to my head. In three months, did, but um, the outcome card pretty much showed me that there's going to be some suspicion and some mistrust for a while and so th as far as uh, your relationship situation um, it doesn't look like anything is going to happen as far as having a relationship uh, anytime soon but it does look like you can apply yourself and lay the groundwork put the foundation out there and you know if uh, you know it's the old saying: if you want to keep getting what you're getting, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, this is, I, I think that you know you you've kind of crossed a barrier where you're, where you've realized um, you got to do a little bit of work on yourself and change gears so that you can find someone who are matched to, not someone that you're settling for. And that's pretty much the feel I got out of this. So let's do a quick recap. It's, it, it's obvious to me there's been a lot of excitement up front. Maybe you've kind of rushed into things a little quicker than you should have. Didn't really get to know the person well enough. Um, something happens and there's it, it kind of fades away and, you, and you're longing for that, that, that feeling that you had early on. Um, presently, it looks like you're going to be in a phase of learning maybe there may be some a, a teacher involved of some sort in this and, and you know along those lines there are also courses you can take on this and I've seen I, I, I've looked at a lot of these um, uh, confidence courses well I don't really call it confidence course but they're they're male empowerment type things and there's female empowerment type things out there too just make sure you you find the right one not <coughs> not some overly feminist whack job but someone who can help you tie into and connect with your real sense of femininity um, as it exists uh, in, a, in a spiritual way, not as it exists in a political way. And, and, and that's the, that's the double-edged sword of feminism right there. Uh, real feminists are about what's inside. Uh, you, 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 you need to learn what it is you want because you've, it's, it's so alien to you, this thing working right, you don't even, you're, you're having a hard time envisioning it, but it's going to, um, you're going to get over yourself, you've got a lot to offer, you've got so much to offer, you, you, you know, it's just incredible. Um, very, very good card for, for what you have to offer, but it's just going to be some time pulling it together. Uh, so good luck to you. Uh, let me know if any of this made sense, if you feel like I've hit on anything, and uh, 
good luck to you. I hope it all works out. Hey, you know what? I, I'll give you another read in three months if you want, and we'll see what happens. All right? Thanks.